Hello my growing gang of gregarious gastronauts. It's a special day today, it's World Alliteration Day. Apparently it's not. Um, but it is officially the first day of summer. Although it won't be by the time you see this. So what we like to eat in summer is salads. <laughs> yeah really, sometimes. So today I'm going to show you how, to, how I make a uh, salade niçoise. This was requested by Jerky M, so I hope you enjoy it mate. And uh, also a shout out for Michael Ovens and his very good friends Mark and Laura. Um, sorry, I've only just seen your message, Michael, because I don't check YouTube messages very often. <laughs> Probably not more than once a month. Uh, anyway, I found it, so there you go. Now, um, Salade Niçoise, this, um, if, if I claim it's authentic, I, I would be hung, drawn and quartered by French people everywhere because uh, there doesn't really seem to be an authentic recipe. There's a lot, a lot of variation in the kind of ingredients that people put in. But as far as I can make out, you need green beans, some kind of seafood, which could be anchovies or tuna, and um, tomatoes, and you know, uh, an oil-based, olive oil-based dressing, and some basil, and uh, optionally hard-boiled eggs and the tuna and anchovies are optional. Well, let's just get on with it. Ingredients for the salad I've got some tomatoes, some green beans, some black olives, a bit of cucumber, a couple of eggs, four or five anchovy fillets and a tablespoon of capers and a few basil leaves. So you want about the same quantity of olives as you have beans and you want three or four ripe tomatoes. I just happen to have this monster one and a normal sized one. That'll be okay. The beans need to be topped, tailed, cut and cooked and the eggs need to be boiled. Not rock hard but hard enough so that they don't dribble in the salad. So I'll just pop my eggs into a pan of water, start it from cold, bring it to the boil and then put a lid on it, turn it down, simmer for six minutes. Now for the green beans, just um, top and tail them. <laughs> the, these were pre-tailed or pre-topped, but um, they've gone a bit bleh. <laughs> and cut them in half. I don't like, you know, my long beans and things in my salad. Bring those to the boil and let them simmer for about four minutes till they kind of al dente, a little bit of crunch, but you know, not overdone. Now you want to have a bowl of iced water standing by to put the eggs and the green beans into and stop them cooking instantly when they're done. Okay, right when those are cooked, just enough. So I'll put those in the iced water as well. and let those cool down completely. Now the rest of it, you, you don't really want to assemble it too soon. It, it should be, you know, as fresh as possible, especially because it's got tomato in it, which will go soggy if it's sitting around for too long. So there's just the dressing to make up, which you can do in advance, and wait for Mrs. Keith Cooks to come home, and then we'll do a taste test. She'll love it. So for the cucumber, cut it in half and scoop out the seeds from the middle, and then Chop it into, what, well, maybe four batons and then into slightly cubic things. Now you need to cut your tomatoes into chunks. A lot of recipes say to, you know, skin them, but I don't really see the point of that. Aren't they lovely though? Lovely, juicy and ripe. So for the dressing, you want a couple of cloves of garlic, a couple more anchovies, four tablespoons of Evu extra virgin olive oil, half a tablespoon of red wine vinegar, and a grind of black pepper, and also some freshly picked <laughs> basil leaves. Oh, smell that. Oh my. 
he's he's looking a bit droopy today. I think um, he might be getting he might be getting turned into pesto soon. Okay, so you want to mince your garlic and crush your anchovies into dust, well, paste. These things, these anchovy fillets in a teeny little jar that you get in the UK, they are just they're pretty disgusting things, they're very sad. I've had anchovies in Spain where, you know, the bones, all the, all the little bones have been picked out by hand and they're plump and gorgeous and, oh, yeah, and they cost about a euro each, but uh, once in a while it was a special treat. And you can imagine that, you know, in the south of France, where these things are more easily available, um, it would be a special treat, and it should be, but anyway. So I'm making up the dressing. I've got the chopped basil, the minced garlic, the anchovies in a jar, and I'm adding four tablespoons of Evo and some RWV red wine vinegar. <laughs> I think I said half a tablespoon before, but I reckon a whole tablespoon would be fine. Add a wee pinch of salt and a grind of black pepper. Put the lid on, give it a good old shake and it's a good idea to taste it. That'll do for me, that's real tasty. Okay, let's uh, assemble it. I've drained the green beans and let's pop the olives in and the scraggy little anchovies, just chop them up a bit. Tomatoes. Let's give it a bit of a stir. Oh, that looks grand. That looks lovely. And top it with your boiled eggs. Almost forgot, we need some more of our friend Basil. Sorry mate, <laughs> you've had it. <laughs> Not four leaves and just tear them into the salad. Boiled eggs cut in quarters and place them on top in an artistic manner, if you like, or just chuck them in. Serve that with some crusty French bread and a glass of white wine and the dressing. I'm not putting the dressing on yet because uh, I'll, I'll do that at the last minute when uh, the boss comes home. Okay then, taste test time with Mrs. Eve Cook. <laughs> Ooh, this Salad. looks nice. Ooh, that does look nice. Yes, please. So what have we got? Is that olive oil and balsamic vinegar? Yeah. <gasps> and warm, crusty bread. Yeah, okay. Made it myself, didn't tell you. Thanks. Get off. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Did you? Did you make it yourself? Yeah, I heck. Ah. I will do. Mm -hmm. one, one day, if people beg me enough. With all that spare time you've got. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. Dressing. Oh. Mm. That's a lovely egg. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. There are worse things to come to home to at the end of a long day. Nearly at the end of a long week. So why the dressing as well as the oil and vinegar? You're supposed to dip your bread in one and dressing on the other or all? Yeah. Are there rules? Yeah, you dip your bread in that. Uh-huh. You spill that one down your shirt. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> so does this make for entertaining viewing? No, two I think people it's standing here, just pretty eating. boring, really. Hello. <laughs> mm. Oh man. Mm. See, I'm eating the wrong thing. I should be eating that. <laughs> when it works, you see, there's not much to be said. You're too busy eating. Do you think we should let these people go? Yeah. 
can right. make your own salad as well. This is really nice. I must admit, I know I'm supposed to eat, you know, mouthfuls and all the different flavours, but I'm enjoying picking all the bits out. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Wrong hand. Oh. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and see you next time. I think you got that right. You did? Yeah. See? Been practicing. Mm-hmm.